Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. So in this video, we are going to see that how we can exploit server-side request forgery to do file disclosure vulnerabilities on a live application, right? But before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have demonstrated everything related to server-side request forgery, like what is SSRF, uh, how we can find SSRF, what are the configuration that we need to do in order to hunt for ssrf vulnerabilities then go ahead and check it out the link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen also this video has been sponsored by integrity integrity is an awesome europe based bug bounty platform in fact it is the best platform in europe out there or even in the world it is among the top best bug bounty platform where they have awesome bug bounty programs actively running so if you are into cyber security if you are into bug bounty then if and if you want to uh, show your skills and get paid in return so check out integrity integrity have a lot of programs and a lot of companies are actually trusting integrity so you can just go and register to integrity using the link which i am uh, displaying over here as well as you can just click on the link given in the description and you can register through integrity and start hacking there and now let's get back to the video now let us try to see that how we can exploit server side request forgery that we have found in the previous video so first of all, let me just open my application. So first we're going to need to open burp suit. Let me just open it. Burp suit. And then we'll be opening our browser. Yeah. So we have our browser over here. Let me just get rid of this. And let me just try to open it again. Yeah. And let me just start my burp suit as well. And now, meanwhile, I can just open the target, which is .edu.in, right? And I'm just going to use the Google Doc to find the vulnerable parameter. So in URL, url download.php there it is let's click on this very first link and what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn on my intercept over here and let me just stop the crawling and let's turn on the intercept and let's open this vulnerable parameter and we'll be sending the request into the repeater right here it is this, this is the request in which we are interested in i'm just going to send this to repeater and i'm just going to drop the request now right now we already know that when we are sending this request so the request is actually going to on this particular uh web application right so we'll see that the content is somewhat related to the content which is uh, presented on this uh, particular web application right you can see over here and we have already confirmed that that this is indeed the same content which is present on this particular uh, web application which is over here right now the thing is that from here we have understood that the server is actually sending request to whatever uh, web application that we are providing right so we are using the protocol https which means that by default the server is sending the request to the internet or to the web pages right but we can use some different protocols to do some different kind of stuff for example let me just show you a simple thing over here like if i open a new tab over here and if i type this instead of https if i type file and then if i go like this you'll see that every file is listed over here right so every file which is presented on this machine has been listed right over here so i can do something like this we can go with atc slash password and we'll see that this value has, has been over here, right? But the thing is to access this protocol file one, what we need to do is we need to send this request to the same server, right? So if I want to access the file content uh, of this machine, which uh, in which I'm just accessing it, right? So I need to send the request from this server as well. For example, if I just uh, send the request from a different server, then it won't work. Let's take another example. Let's say that I want to uh, I want to see the files of a Google server, right? In that case, if I'm just trying to access google.com and using the file, it will not work. Why? Because the file protocol requires you to send the request from within the within the machine, right? Within the server, the server it itself should send the request on the particular server so that it can access the files present inside it, right? So it is you can say that 
this is not accessible on the internet right what we can do over here is so as you can see this file we have used this file protocol to access the files right we can just go to any files like this and we can access it there's no issue about it right so what if we try to use this similar uh, protocol onto the uh, uh, burp repeater right if it is vulnerable then we will be able to see the files inside the particular server right and we know that uh, over here what we can do is we can just simply get rid of this right and we can use file like this okay and let's try to send request and let's see what happens you see we are getting nothing over here now does that mean that this application is not vulnerable exactly no right this means that we need to specify custom file and you see over here if we see the headers we see that the server is apache and the operating system is ubuntu right and now since we have known that the operating system is ubuntu which is based on the linux kernel then we'll be able to browse some common directories which are present in every linux based operating system for example etc slash password right so if we do uh let me just show you if we do etc uh etc slash password you'll see that we're getting this content right i've already demonstrated that now what we can do is we can do the same thing over here let's do etc slash password let's try to send the request and now as you can see we are getting the content of the etc slash password file present on this particular server right so which means that we were able to send the request internally which has resulted in getting the internal files right using this particular file protocol so earlier we were using https so if you have ever encountered a ssrf if you have found ssrf what you can do is you can do various protocols to find uh, different kind of vulnerabilities over here as you can see we have used this file protocol in order to do the file disclosure vulnerability what we can do is from this data we can also escalate it and try to do some ssh brute forcing and all so that we'll be able to uh, get the remote cell access right maybe we'll be able to do uh, remote code execution and all right so from this moment onwards since we have discovered that this file code disclosure vulnerability is also there because of server side request forgery then it means that this vulnerability has a severity critical right because we're able to browse into the internal files right and again i'm telling you the difference is that if it in order to access this file protocol we need to access this protocol within the server so if i want to access my file protocol my files uh, uh, of this machine then i need to send the request exactly from this server this current machine right again if i want to uh, access something uh, file from uh, a different machine then i need to send the request from that machine to this endpoint right so that i can access that file so this is a very uh, this file protocol has a very limited re restrictions you can see right over here so if you try to access it anywhere from the uh, from the internet it won't work why it is working over here is because this endpoint we have confirmed that this endpoint is sending request to the external endpoint right so what we did is we tricked this particular uh, machine to send request to its internal endpoint and since since the machine is sending the request therefore we are able to get this particular information because the the operating system is thinking that okay the request is coming from this machine not from somewhere else around the internet right this is the reason why we were able to get into this file disclosure i hope that you have understood it so if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach and if you want to learn more about reconnaissance more about vulnerabilities and more about interesting stuff like uh, hacking or creating your own custom malware then go ahead and check out my courses the link of all these courses are given into my description where i have demonstrated a lot of, lot of interesting stuff like doing web application reconnaissance uh, account takeover vulnerabilities and hacking windows with python so if you are interested then definitely go ahead and check it out all of these courses are hosted on udemy and you'll get a lot of discount because we usually have a lot of discount in their platform so you can go ahead and check it out and with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thank you for watching